Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's Spur video. We're going to have a look at the weather next 10 to 14 days. For today's Spur video, day 10 will take us to the 3rd of uh, March. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. They run around a couple of weeks. Uh, we won't be having a look at CFSB2 for the next four weeks at the end of the video because uh, CPC and CEP Noel websites have been uh, down all morning. Not sure what's happened, but uh, we're without the CFS week as I'm going to get on to record the video. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to bring that data um, tomorrow. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much everybody uh, for doing that. Just to tell you that we uh, release the 6am upload and the EC 30 day forecast UK and rest of Europe as well. So please check out those two videos. If you like, to do that. like, share, subscribe on videos. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. All right, we're going to start off in the stratosphere very quickly. So, uh, temperatures are continuing to uh, drop down now. We we're up to 10 HPA in the stratosphere over the uh, North Pole. We're down to minus 40 now. We went up to uh, around minus 15 a few days ago. Well, obviously, we can't maintain that very high level of temperature indefinitely, and temperatures are reducing, but still are well above average. If we go lower down to 30 HPA, we can see but uh, cooling is also taking place there as well from minus 30 to around minus 14. Latest uh, polar vortex status from uh, weather is cool is saying that zonal mean zone wind at 10 HPA, 60 degrees north is today at minus 2.6 ms. <coughs> so zonal winds remain in reverse and uh, that's going to be the case for another day or so and then we'll go slightly positive. This is the latest forecast for uh, the temperature at 10 HPA in the stratosphere over the uh, North Pole. We're currently there, so it's still a little bit um, uh, of a reverse as the winds continuing. So the winds will go slightly positive in the uh, next few days. And then at the end of February into the beginning of March, so the winds go uh, negative as well. A double dip reversal of zonal winds. Uh, this is from the University of Berlin, based on last night's East Chapter 12 said, uh, run. This is showing about 10 HPA in 10 days' time. Uh, which is the uh, 3rd of March, that the temperature goes down to, or the uh, zone of wind is at minus 5.1 ms, uh, which tells us that uh, the reverse of zone of wind will return as we come to the end of February and go into the beginning of March. And zone of wind is also predicted to reverse at 30 HPA by day 10 as well. So uh, again, we see here the uh, zone of wind there forecast to be at minus 1.0 ms, which tells about both uh, 10 and 30 HPA zone of winds are set for reversal again towards the end of uh, the month. So uh, again, for 10 HPA be the first time that zone of winds have reversed at 30 HPA, of course. So still significant transfer developments continue. Central temperature is currently sitting at 6.8, which is 3 degrees above average. That's provisional to uh, yesterday, to the 20th of, uh, of, um, of February. So uh, that is uh, about as high as it's going to get. I think it might tick up 6.9, but I think that's more or less as high as it's going to get. And then it will start to reduce as we go into the final uh, week or so of the month, uh, probably dropping down into the uh, upper thighs or below sixes, perhaps. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles the next couple of weeks Sheffield today. So the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Sheffield, starting off with still above average temperatures at the moment, of course. Uh, they're going to reduce in the next um, day or two, uh, day or two, and uh, then staying quite cool, really, as we come to the end of the week and into the weekend. Next week, we've got a lift up in the upper air temperature before a drop takes place uh, towards the end of the first week and into the second week of March. This period just here is, however, like, likely to be anticyclonic, so although upper air temperatures are lifting up there, uh, under the area of high pressure, we probably will have overnight frost and fog. A little bit of a gruesome too, some. Um, but uh, maybe by day, not think too bad in the strength of the March sunshine. Lots of dry weather to come as well. A prolonged dry spell uh, set to continue into the beginning of March. Maybe a little bit more unsettled there by the second week of March. But that is a really long way out. Temperature anomalies from the 21st February to 1st March. A little bit cooler average for the far south, southwest, and for Ireland. A little bit above average for central 
and northern regions. Not a particularly big deviation anywhere, though. Very close to average, really. Um, precipitation anomalies from the 21st of February to 1st of March. They're coming out drier than normal. Next week, from that from EarthNorthSchool.net shows that we continue to bring in wind from off the Atlantic today, but a change is coming. We've got a cold from just there ahead of that, still drawing in those mild southwest winds, but behind it, bringing cooler air in from off the North Atlantic. And that will be the trend then through the remainder of the week. Right, this double H you can make your run is going to midnight on Friday. High pressure out to west, bringing in a rather chilly northwesterly wind. High pressure then centres over top of the country over the weekend. That'll be quite a chilly red spring overnight frost and fog. But to by day, given the strength of the late February sunshine, probably not, probably not feeling too bad. And by the end of the UK Meteor Run, which gets us to be died on Tuesday, high pressure remains over the top of the country. Icon again with wind in from the northwest on uh, Friday. And uh, normally wind could be a few wintry showers down the east coast into Saturday. But uh, the general trend for the weekend will be high pressure building across the country. Brings lots of dry weather, quite chilly in that area of high pressure, especially so at night. Um, by the early part of next week, this is midday Tuesday, high pressure to the north of Scotland, then like over Scotland to the north. So a bit of a cold, easy wind down in the south. Not as much of an easterly though as ICOM was indicating yesterday. The models are a wobbling on the cold spell uh, at the moment. So we have a bit of a model wobble today which you'll see with the GFS output. This is GFS Midnight Run. Again, bring wind in from the northwest on uh, Friday. And we go beyond that into uh, Saturday and Sunday. And we don't get the high pressure at Scandinavia, as we were indicating yesterday. Keep the high pressure over the top of the country. Overnight frost and fog, definitely likely with that. Um, and, you know, probably uh, reasonably pleasant mode by day. Into next week, the high pressure remains in control of weather gradually easing its way up towards Iceland and Greenland. Cold air being to blast into uh, Scandinavia. Uh, that is day 10, which is the 3rd of March. Again, high pressure just out to our west and our northwest. Again, we're pulling in this cold northerly into Scotland, just on the edges, just on the periphery of it. If you want to tap into that cold air, we've got to get the high pressure a little bit further northwards and centre it there, really, and then we will be able to open the door to both cold north or north easterly winds. Moving into that center range, high pressure begins to push off in towards uh, the Canadian side of uh, Greenland. And we just stay quite uh, anticyclonic, really, until around the night of March. And mild air coming back in from off the Atlantic. No particularly cold spell with the GFS midnight run. GFS 6Z, again, we have wind in from the northwest on Friday into the weekend. High pressure sits over the country. A little bit of an easy wind down south, but not properly getting high pressure to Scandinavia. Uh, on today's GFS output. So just a high pressure fest really which brings frost and fog as we go up towards day 10. Uh, that's a set up high pressure centre just to the north of Scotland. Easy wind down south, mainly dry and chilly but not overly calm. And then into the extended range, gradually the high pressure breaks down, low pressure comes back in from off Atlantic. No cold spell with a GFS 6 f run either. If you enjoyed the video, please you like, share, subscribe, thanks to show you everybody for doing that. And make sure you drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Thank you so very much everyone for uh, doing that. Yeah, we're winning in for Northwest on Friday uh, over the weekend. Got a bit of a northeast there. Could bring a few wintry showers into eastern regions. But uh, generally high pressure dominates the weather, will bring frost and fog over the weekend. But uh, daytime temperature is probably not too bad, given the strength of February sunshine. And the high pressure fest continues all the way up to day 10. With that one, uh, ECM once more with wind in from the northwest on Friday. Uh, high pressure just dominates the weather. As we go into the open next week, doesn't really go north. Just keep that high pressure centered over the country. Extended dry spell, frost and fog early and late, and temperatures probably not too bad by day. This, this is the precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tometeo.com. So uh, we've got uh, some cooler air coming up over the next few days, but high pressure will bring lots of dry weather, to be honest. Not much going on. Real high pressure fest continuing. Uh, these are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today. 
Four day 10, three Icelandic med toffees gets us to the 3rd of March. 27 members of the ECM ensembles in high pressure, more or less over top of the coach. She brings lots of dry weather with it. 12 with a high pressure over just slightly to the west of the country. It's dry weather with that. Went a little bit from the east, but you know, not tapping into a particularly cold source. And then 12 with high pressure stretched out from Scandinavia up towards green, low pressure to the south. And uh, winds will be coming in from more of an easy direction. So probably the coldest option out of uh, the three. They're all quite chilly, don't get me wrong. They would all deliver frost and fog early and late, but they're not tapping in to, you know, a proper cold source of air. And then in two in time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the ninth, uh, to the 8th of March, you say 19 members of the ECM ensemble. High pressure right over top of coach. Actually, high pressure is going mainly dry, not overly cold. 17, similar to what we've seen yesterday, with the high pressure moving out into the Atlantic and going up to Greenland, trough of low pressure in across the northwest Europe. That would be cold and wintry, bringing in the wind from the northeast. So still 17 going for that. And then 15, take the high pressure more towards the Canadian side of Greenland and bring low pressure in off the, off the Atlantic. So that's more unsettled and would be milder. That would be a milder scenario as the blocking is going over to the Canadian side of Greenland. So, obviously, we're wobbling here on any uh, extended cold spell through the early part of March today. Maybe a might as well pick back up with it um, in the next day or two. But, you know, at the moment, a definite model wobble is going on. We shall wait and see how it resol resolves itself. And we don't know. Unfortunately, we can't show it to be too today because uh, website's been down all morning. Hopefully, it'll be back for tomorrow. So, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, then please take you right, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. Make sure you drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. We will be back with more content tomorrow. So tomorrow's videos will include the 6 a.m. upload. We're going to have the uh, USA extended forecast as well. We'll be live streaming our 10 to 14 day uh, at 6 p.m. We'll have a, a, a live a 10 to 14 day live. And we may have a little update uh, for, with the GMA seasonal model as well tomorrow so that could be uh, an interesting uh, watch at uh, covering the full spring period ahead of the uh, second and final season what around up spring 2023 which is going to be released on saturday morning right so uh, you enjoy the rest of your tuesday but for this video that's all for now and thanks for watching